As of February 7, 2022, entry-level CDL trainees will have much stricter requirements for obtaining their CDL. I'm Six Star Driver here with a full general knowledge questions and answers to help you get prepared and ready for your permit test. This test consists of 150 questions. You will need to go over this a few times in addition to any other test samples you might have. I have a combination vehicle test and an air brake also coming soon after this. This video took me hours to put together and it's available for free. So please, all I ask for in return is for you to smash that thumbs up button and check out my other content on this channel. Good luck everybody and let's get to it. General knowledge, number one. As the blood alcohol concentration, also known as the BAC, goes up, what happens? It's C, judgment and self-control are affected. Number two, implied consent means, it's the option number B, you have given your consent to be tested for alcohol in your blood. Number three, the total weight of the powered unit, the trailer, and the cargo is called the gross combination weight. Number four, if you do not have a CB radio, what is the first thing you should do at an accident scene? Protect the area. Number five, which of these is true about mirror adjustment? You should adjust your mirrors prior to starting a trip. Number six, brake fade can be caused by brakes getting very hot. Number seven, on which fires can water be used? It will be tires. Number eight, which of these statements about engine overheating is true? You should never remove the radiator cap on a pressurized system until it has cooled off. Number nine, which of these is not a danger to rough acceleration? Tire damage. Number 10, which of these is true about the use of a heater? When driving in winter weather, you should check that the heater is working properly. Number 11, what is the proper way to hold the steering wheel with both hands firmly on opposite sides of the wheel? Number 12, if you have a heavy load that is slowing you down on a downgrade, on, a, on an upgrade, you should shift into lower gear. Number 13, which of these is not a danger when an automatic transmission is forced into a low gear at high speeds? Loss of steering control. Number 14. If possible, a helper should be used to help back your vehicle whenever you have to back up. Number 15. When looking ahead of your vehicle while driving, you should look back and forth near and far. Number 16, how far ahead of the vehicle should the driver look while driving? 12 to 15 seconds. Number 17, which of these is the proper way to signal to change lanes? Signal early and change lanes slowly and smoothly. Number 18, you should signal continuously while turning because you need both hands on the wheel to turn safely. Number 19, the primary cause of fatal crashes is driving too fast. Number 20, you should try to park so that you can pull forward when you leave. 21, you are driving a vehicle at 45 miles per hour on dry pavement. About how much total stopping distance will you need to bring it to a stop? The length of a football field, 100 yards. Number 22, when driving at night, you should use your low beams when an oncoming vehicle is within 500 feet. 23, you are driving in an area with few street lights on a clear night. If you cannot see well with your headlights, which of these actions would help? C. Use your high beams when legal and keep your interior lights off. Number 24. What happens to tar in road pavement when it gets extremely hot? 
It bleeds, making a road surface slippery. Number 25. What is the best advice for drivers when a heavy fog occurs? It's A. Park at a truck stop or rest area until the fog has lifted. Number 26. Which of these statements about cold weather driving is true? I'll pick B at all the options. It's windshield washer antifreeze should be used. Number 27. Strong winds most affect driving at option C upon exiting a tunnel. Number 28. Perception distance is the distance your vehicle travels from the time at C. The eyes see a hazard to the time the brain knows it's a hazard. Number 29. You are driving on a two-lane road. An oncoming driver drifts into your lane, headed straight for you. Which of these is the most often the best action to take? B. Steer to the right. Number 30. You can see a marking on a vehicle ahead of you. The marking is a red triangle with an orange center. What does this marking mean? Option A. It may be a slow moving vehicle. Number 31. Hydroplaning is option C. Is more likely when tire pressure is low. Number 32. What should you do when your vehicle hydroplanes? Option B. Release the accelerator. Number 33. In the event of a rear tire failure, dual rear tires will usually prevent fishtail. Number 34. Which of these is correct about emergency or evasive actions? It would be option B. In order to turn quickly, you must have a firm grip on the steering wheel. Number 35. Most serious skids result from C, driving too fast for conditions. Number 36. Over length, over width, or overweight loads require a special transit permit. Containerized loads are generally used when freight is carried part way by rail or ship. Number 38. Which of these statements about an inspection of suspension component is true? It would be B. Axle mounts should be checked at each point where they are secured on the vehicle frame and axle. Number 39. Should brake adjustment be checked often? That would be A. Yes, because brakes can get out of adjustment when they are used a lot. Number 40. Which of these is not part of the pre-trip inspection of the engine component? That will be option B, valve clearance. Number 41, a full stop is required at a railroad grade crossing when A, the nature of the cargo makes a stop mandatory under state or for incompatible items. Number 42, you do not have uh, as a material endorsement on your commercial driver's license, you can drive a vehicle hauling hazardous material when B, the vehicle does not require placards. Number 43, you are driving a heavy vehicle with a manual transmission. You have to stop the vehicle on the shoulder while driving on an uphill grade. Which of these is a good rule to follow when putting it it back in motion up the grade. That will be option B. Use the parking brake to hold the vehicle until the clutch engages. Number 44. If your brakes fail on a downgrade, you must first A. Look outside your vehicle for another means of slowing it down. Number 45. To help you stay alert while driving, you should a. Take short breaks before you get drowsy. Number 46. Which of the following 
is a good way to react to an aggressive driver. C. Give the driver the benefit of the doubt. Number 47. If you must use a cell phone while driving, you should B. Pull off the road onto a safe and legal position. Number 48. Which of these statements about staying alert to drive is true? That would be option C. Sleep is the only thing that can overcome fatigue. Number 49. Medicines used to treat the common cold often makes you drowsy and thus should not be used while driving. Option C. Number 50. Which of these statements about drugs is true? It's option B. Use of drugs can lead to accidents and or arrests. 51. Which of these statements about causes of vehicle fires is true? C. Poor trailer ventilation can cause cargo to catch on fire. Number 52. What will help keep an engine cool in hot weather? It's C. Making sure the engine has the right amount of oil. Number 53. Which of these statements about marking a stop vehicle is true? A. If a hill or curve keeps others from seeing a vehicle within 500 feet, the rear triangle should be moved back down the road to give adequate warning. Number 54. Which of these did not provide extra gears on some trucks? Automatic transmissions do not. Number 55. Which of these action, actions is not recommended for the left turn? It's option C. Start in the inside lane and swing right as you turn. Number 56. What is counter steering? It is C. Turning the vehicle back in the opposite direction after steering to avoid an emergency. Number 57. Which of these statements about downshifting is true? That would be A. When you downshift for a curve, you should do so before you enter the curve. Number 58. Why is it imp important? to shift gears correctly it is option a keep control of the vehicle that is the whole point number 59 back in a commercial vehicle is always dangerous option a number 60 you see a car approaching from the rear the next time you check your mirrors the car is gone you should wish you wish to change lanes you should wait to change lanes until you are sure the vehicle isn't in your blind spot. Number 61. The distance you should look ahead of your vehicle while driving is option B, a quarter of a mile at highway speed. Number 62. You are driving a heavy vehicle. You must exit a highway using an off ramp that curves downhill. You should A. Slow down to a safe speed before the curve. Number 63. When you are driving on a snow-packed road, you should reduce your speed by at least option C, which is a half. 64. Merging onto a road is safest if you wait for a large enough gap in traffic to enter the road. Number 65. If you're being tailgated, you should B. Increase your following distance. Number 66. What should you do if a car coming towards you at night keeps its eye beams on? Option B. Look at the right side of the road. Number 67. The road you are traveling on becomes very slippery due to glare ice. Which of these is a good thing to do in such situation? A. Stop driving as soon as you can safely do so number 68 your brakes can get wet when driving through heavy rain what can this cause when the brakes are applied c trailer jackknife number 69 you should avoid driving through deep puddles or flowing water but if you must which of these steps can help keep your brakes working option b gently put in on the brakes while driving through the water. Number 70, 
when driving through work zone, you should see use your four way flashes or brake lights to warn others. Number 71. The best drivers are those that watch and prepare for hazards. This is called being defensive. Number 72. Which of the, the below is not a characteristic of a front tire failure? It's option B. Vehicle fishtails. Only fishtails if the tire blows out in the back. Number 73. When hydraulic, when hydraulic brakes fail while driving, what action should you take? Option B. Pump the brake pedal to generate pressure. Number 74. Your vehicle has hydraulic brakes. While traveling on a level road, you press the pedal and it goes to the floor. Which of the D statement is true? Option B. Pumping the pedal may bring pressure up so you can stop the vehicle. Number 75. Which of these happen when the tire blow out at highway speed? A. A vibrating feeling. Number 76. How do you correct the rear wheel acceleration skid? Option B. Stop accelerating. Number 77. Which of these systems should receive extra attention during cold weather inspection? Your exhaust. Option A. Number 78. Can federal inspectors inspect your truck or bus? Option B. Yes, and they can put it out of service if it's unsafe. That is absolutely right. Number 79. Which of these statements about tires is true? A. You should inspect your tires every two hours or every 100 miles when driving in hot weather. Number 80. If you are not sure what you what to use to put out as it is material fires, you should see weight on qualified firefighters. Number 81. When you are driving on grades, which of these is the best way to choose a safe speed? B. Based on your vehicle and its cargo, select a safe speed that is within the posted speed limits. Number 82. When confronted by an aggressive driver, the very first thing you should do is A. Make every attempt to get out of their way. Number 83. In bad weather, many cars tailgate large vehicles. What should you do? B. Increase your following distance so you can avoid quick maneuvers. Number 84. Which of these is a good thing to remember about drinking alcohol? C. Alcohol affects judgment and self-control, which are necessary for safe driving. Number 85. Which of these statements about vehicle fires is true? C. A burning tire should be cooled with water. Number 86. Optional safety equipment may include emergency numbers, tire chains, and A. A tire changing equipment. Number 87. After starting, starting the engine, A, the coolant temperature gauge should begin a gradual rise to the normal range. Number 88, retarders can be used, option B, only where permitted by law. Number 89, which of these statements about brakes is true? A, the heavier a vehicle or the faster it is moving, the more heat the brakes have to absorb to stop it. Number 90. What is the term for a commercial vehicle's habit of swinging wide in its turn? It's called off tracking. Option A. Number 91. Which of these statements about double clutching and shifting are true? Option C. You can use a tachometer to tell when to shift. Number 92. According to, to the driver's manual, why should you limit the use of horn? A. It can startle other drivers. B. Number 93. You are driving a vehicle that can be safely driven at 55 miles per hour, but traffic is heavy and moving at 35, even though the limit is 55. What is the safest speed for you? 35 miles per hour. Option B. 
slower speed 94 whenever you double your speed how much more distance does it take to stop it's option c it's four times the distance number 95 how does your vehicle weight affect stop hey empty trucks can take longer to stop than loaded ones but this is usually not the case for buses number 96 which of these statements about overhead clearance is true b the weight of a vehicle changes its height number 97 which of these is a good thing to do when driving at night it's a keep your speed slow enough that you can stop in the range of your headlights number 98 which vehicle would be most effective affected by strong winds it's b a set of empty doubles 99 when the roads are slippery you should a make turns as gently as possible 100 which of these is not true about emergency braking it's option b it is not important how you break in an emergency 101 which of these is the most important thing to remember about emergency braking it's b if the vehicle if the wheels are skidding you cannot control your vehicle 102 where or how is cargo blocking used option c in the front sides and the back of cargo usually at the floor 103 bridge formula formulas a permits less maximum axle weight for axles that are closer together 104 you are checking your brakes and suspension in a pre-trip inspection which of these statements is true it's c brake shoes should not have oil grease or fluid on them it's a no brainer number 105 what is the most important reason reason to inspect your truck or bus it's a safety 106 drivers of trucks and tractors with cargo must check the securement of the cargo within how many miles of starting the trip? It is option B, 50 miles. 107, you do not have the as it is material endorsement on your CDL. You are asked to haul a load of as it is material requiring placards. You should A, refuse to haul the load. Number 108, what is the first thing you should do if your brakes fail while going down a hill? C. Get off the road as soon as possible. 109. Escape ramps should be used by any driver who loses braking power. That's option C. 110. Which of the following best describes how sleep debt can be paid off? Let's C. It can only be paid off by sleeping. Get some rest. 111. If you have been drinking alcohol, you should A. Wait for it to wear off. 112. When a doctor prescribes medication for you and you know you will be driving, you should C. Ask the doctor if the medication will affect your driving. 113. To, de to determine the blood alcohol concentration BAC for a person, it is necessary to know what B. How much a person weighs. 114. Which of these is not a good rule to follow when caring for an injured person in an accident scene? The only one that makes sense out of this is option C. Keep the injured person cool. Number 115. You should use your mirrors to check C where the rear of the vehicle is while you make turns. 116. Which of these statements about backing a heavy vehicle is true? A. You should avoid backing whenever you can. 117. If you must cross into an oncoming lane as you make a turn, you should A. Watch for oncoming traffic. 118. When you are parked at the side of the road, you must B. Turn on your four-way flashes to warn others. 119. Which of these statements about speed, man speed management is true? It's B. You should choose a good speed that lets you stop in a distance that you can see ahead. 120. 
and driving on a road where truck speed limits are lower than cars, you should C. Use extra caution when changing lanes or passing. 121. You are driving a 40-foot vehicle at 35 miles per hour. What is the least amount of space you should keep between your vehicle and the one in front of you? It's 4 seconds. 122. What three things add up to the total stopping distance for your truck or bus? C. Perception distance, reaction distance, and braking distance. 123. When driving at night, you should use your low beams when an oncoming vehicle is within 500 feet. We've said this a few times throughout this question. 500 feet. Remember that number. 124. What should you do before driving in mountains? A. Know the escape ramp location on your route. Number 125. A car cuts in front of you, creating a hazard. Which of these actions should you not take? A. Honk and stay close behind the car. That's aggressive driving. You don't want to do that. 126. What should you do when you see a hazard in a roadway ahead of you? C. Use your four-way flashes or brake lights to warn others. 127. You are driving on a level highway at 50 miles per hour. There are no other vehicles around you. A tire blow out. A tire blows out on your vehicle. What should you do first? It's A. Stay off the brakes until the vehicle has slowed down. 128. What does emergency braking mean? It's B. Responding to an hazard by slowing the vehicle. 129. Having ABS on only the tractor will give you more control over the vehicle. Number 130. Which of these statements about cargo is true? It's A. Unstable loads such as hanging meat or livestock can require extra caution in curves. 131. A principle to remember about loading cargo is to keep the load C balanced in the cargo area. 132. Which of these is not a brake check you normally do during the walk around inspection? It's C. Hydraulic cylinder leaks. 133. Which of these items is not checked in the pre trip inspection? It is C. Amount of fuel in the vehicle. 134. Which of these statements about shipping hazardous material is true? It is C. A diamond shaped hazardous label must be on the package. 135. Placard must be C placed on all four sides of the vehicle. 136. You must stop on a hill or curve on a divided highway. How far back should you place your rear should you place the rearmost rearmost triangle? It is option C, as far back as necessary to warn others. Number 137. You are driving a newer truck with a manual transmission. What gear will you need to take a long downhill grade? It is B, a lower gear than you used to climb the hill. 138. Aggressive driving is B, driving a vehicle in a bold, selfish, pushy manner. 139. ABS uses sensors and computers to sense A, a potential wheel lockup. 140. The distance you should look ahead of your vehicle while driving at low speed is what distance? It is B, one block. 141. At dawn or dusk or in snow, it can be hard to see and be seen. You can let others know you are there by C, turning on your lights. 142. You are driving through a work zone. You should A, lower your speeds even further anytime workers are present. 143. When driving down a mountain, you will have to use lower gears to drive safely. Which of these does not affect your choice of gears? It's B, tire thread depth. 144. 
which of these is a danger of crossing tracks or dirt roads? It is B, you could get hung halfway across the tracks. 145, which of these is a good thing to do when steering to avoid a crash? It's B, don't turn more than needed to miss whatever is in your way. 146, if a straight truck goes into a front wheel skid, it will be go straight ahead even if the wheels are turned. 147, which of these lights cannot be checked at the same time? C, turn signals, brake signals, and four-way flasher. 148, when driving in cold weather, your tire thread depth should C, provide enough traction to steer and get through the snow. 149, if you react a half second slower, your chances of a crash can double. 150, which of these is true about hours of service. C. You should balance your hours of service with enough sleep to keep you alert. You have successfully completed the general knowledge portion of the test. Stay tuned for the air brakes and combination vehicle portion of the test. Good luck everybody. Peace.